fellow Ambazonians, this is the voice of your acting president, Dr. Sako. I have received a lot of messages in my inbox and calls from concerned Ambazonians who uh, have uh, received the setting of uh, audio recording with the voices of uh, uh, leaders of nationalist groups and myself. Uh, advertising the All Southern Cameroons um, People's Conference uh, scheduled for uh, the 29th uh, to the 31st of uh, is it the 31st of March in, the, in Washington DC some are asking is it true some are asking is this uh, from you and I've heard all the noise um, trying to castigate that uh, event. But I want to talk on behalf of the interim government and tell you uh, why I am involved at this stage. The first thing I want to clarify is that what is happening or is going to happen in Washington DC is not, I repeat, is not an AGC initiative. It's not a Cardinal Toomey initiative. That is sheer demagogy to call it a Cardinal Toomey initiative. Number two, it is not, it is not a Dr. Fontaine conference. Dr. Fontaine is the initiator of the idea or he actually brought the idea to us and you remember without us there will be no conference so he brought the idea to us we we, we filtered through the idea and with time our questions were answered and we came on board to organize the all southern cameroon's people's conference so to clear all doubts, let me explain further how it all began. Dr. Fontaine is one of the pioneers of this recent uh, <coughs> movement uh, that started uh, in 2016. He found himself here in the United States last year and has been here and I believe he will be here until Ambazonia is restored. So he has had held meetings actually representing our ideas, our positions, if you want to know that. He has held meetings here in the DC and uh, with um, concerned um, stakeholders, international stakeholders uh, in our struggle. And he had a series of recommendations that were given to, through him to us. And these are some of the things that we ourselves know because we are engaged. We are engaged in backdoor diplomacy here, especially here in the United States. Than you, 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 you know, than many of us know. So... <clears throat> It was recommended that we should do everything to project to the international community that we are ready and we are willing to talk. <clears throat> if you observe very well, the language of the international community, the body language, if you observe very well, you know that the music has changed and the dance has changed. The international actors are speaking another language. They are dancing another dance. We have to, we, we can react to that in two ways. We either reject it as nothing or we position ourselves for what can eventually be the case. I want you to understand that the minimum we can do when the international community from the Security Council to the main actors in the international scene are speaking our language 
are gravitating towards us and uh, taking our position. The, 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 the most important thing we should do is to, to make them know that we are willing and we are ready. And that means project some kind of unity of, 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 of purpose, one voice, and tell them with one voice that if you are talking about dialogue without precondition, we will be ready if that be the case. <clears throat> we have to position ourselves as, as we understand the language of the international community. The things that are happening now <clears throat> have not happened in this movement for 57 years. Are we already there now? But our positioning can either encourage what the trend we see now or can discourage it as unnecessary, useless, and dangerous. Our position vis-a-vis -vis the international community, our reaction, our preparedness to engage if they, for example, the international community, if they all agree and impose a dialogue on the embattled Bia regime, dialogue without precondition, if they succeeded to impose that position, we to turn around and ask us how to so see how ready we are, and they discover that we are not ready. They will become they will be fools. Who is trying to say that Bia is begging for dialogue? No, no, far from it. But to see everything that we are doing, all the, the results of all the backdoor diplomacy that we are engaged in, to see all that and not position ourselves, not prepare ourselves, to project some unity at the table, not project that there will be unity at the table. Naive is not smart. So I want to assure everybody that Self-defense, water na water, is the principal driver of our diplomacy. I told you that from the day I announced that this is the era of self-defense. That has not changed a bit and will not change anytime soon. It is our focus. While we build our strength and our strategies in Berlin, while we strengthen the base, of our self-defense, of our <coughs> revolution and our resistance, why we call on all stakeholders to hold hands to do that. We should remember that we succeeded to sufficiently defend ourselves and deny our enemy our victory, deny our adversaries victories. The victory they, 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 they think they will have and avoid the dialogue table, avoid talking to us at all. If we refuse them that victory, the international community cannot continue to bear for too long. It's a stalemate that will be costing so much lives and endangering the sub-region. I don't think this, if we resist vehemently, this stalemate will last for too long. So, when the international community recommended this to the, the, the Dr. Fontem and he brought it, and we, we, we studied it and asked a few questions, we said, okay, it's a good idea. Remember, last year, the interim government announced the creation of the Ambazonia Council for Reconciliation and uh, Negotiation. That is to show you that the vision was already there. <coughs> By October last year, I saw that we are, things are going to change. And sometimes we don't wait for things to change before we change. Sometimes we change so that things will change. We were already projecting the possibility of having some intra-dialogue amongst the Ambazonian leadership, in the, 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 all of us, so, that, so as to tell the international community that when it comes to the table, it shall be like it was in July 1961. Endeli did not 
did not win the plebiscite. But when it came to the table, he was present at the table with all his able assistants. It wasn't a matter of winner takes all. That is what gives assurance to the world that once this problem is resolved, we shall be one and uh, we, sh we are ready to govern ourselves. So this conference, okay, what happened? Let me explain the connection. What, what did Ellie Smith and the Reverend gentleman come here to do? We were contacted as the interim government after we frustrated the um, the Kadnatumi conference, the AGC, twice from holding in Boy. Apparently, the international community in Yaoundé realized that that conference cannot hold without the diaspora. That's how they put it. So we were contacted to see if we are ready to talk. Because the way the La Republic has sold their, their, their message, their propaganda to the world is that we don't want to talk. We are just uh, criminals taking ransoms, terrorizing the people, thieves, and we are, not, we, we are terrorists. We are not ready to talk. <laughs> so they have, first of all, they asked to know if we are ready to talk. And we answered, the interim government answered in the affirmative. Yes, we are ready to talk. So they dispatched the spokesperson of the AGC to the diaspora when we agreed that we'll be ready to receive him and hear their message. He came here to visit us to, for his tour around to consult. And uh, the interim government detailed the other leaders around of, about his arrival, Ellie Smith's arrival here, because we facilitated his coming here so that we can, we can, get, we can receive the message that he had for us. <clears throat> when he came here, he did not come to organize a conference. He came here to ask us a question, whether we are ready for the dialogue, if that happens, if that should happen today. And the answer was yes. So other leaders of nationalist groups said, yes, we are ready. So it was yes, 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 yes. So <clears throat> that is the intra-dialogue phase. It is not the dialogue with La Republic. It's the intra-dialogue, the preparatory dialogue phase <clears throat> where we, are, we talk to ourselves and chat our positions and uh, project our readiness. So we said, yes, yes, yes. So he was going to go back to go and report to the to the, those that sent him. Now, I want to tell everybody that we should not be so entrenched in the fight that we forget that one day we shall talk. We should not demonize talking to people. We should advise that we should be smart in doing so. Then you cannot demonize talking. Okay, how will we eventually get to the table? There must be mediators. Mediators are usually people who are neither here nor there. That they, they, they will bring the message. They are sometimes they are just the messengers. They are not the origin of the message. If somebody is bringing a message to you, just because he doesn't speak your language, it doesn't mean his message is wrong. Listen to his message, listen to his message, digest it, and give him a response to take to the one who sent him. We cannot just sit here and say, Oh, who, who is that? He's talking to who oh, they have sold out. How much did we sell out? How much has how much is Kadnatumi sent to here to bribe who? Or the people that sent um, uh, Ellie Smith? Come on, nobody has drunk any Kool Aid. Nobody has taken any bribe. I will not. I have told you before that any day the decision, 
the resolution of this matter will change from restoration to federation. Before you know it, if that position becomes inevitable, I will resign. Be there. I have, we have not gone this far for federalism. That is off the table. La Republic says, Federation is off the table. Okay, let me make it clear. Federation is off the table. That's clear. But are, we going, are we going to say, are we going to be scared of talking to people who say they, they, they believe in federal, federal, federalism? No. But don't we know that in Nambasonia there are people who genuinely believe in federalism? Yes. I don't care how little, how small they are in number. They exist. So don't we have them in our families? Don't we have them around? If we are sitting at the dialogue t- table, are we going to be scared that they are around? If you are the majority, behave as the majority. The purpose of this conference, organized by uh, leaders of nationalist movements, is just to tell the world that if you are thinking of pushing the Bia regime to the table, we shall be ready. It doesn't say we want to accept federalism now. No, that's demagogy. All we are going to say, and I believe, they say, okay, if federalists and uh, nationalists come together, what can, can they possibly agree on? Yes. We want to agree on dialogue without precondition. A dialogue that will address the root causes of the problem. I think even the federalists will agree with that position. Simple. Dialogue without precondition. Would the federalists say they don't want dialogue without precondition? We want to agree on something, project readiness, project unity, project stability post uh, a negotiation table, if that becomes an option. So, that is very, very important. Paul of Ambazonia. Initially, I had purpose in our heart when we established ACON, we have been talking and communicating to leaders or nationalist leaders from October. When we failed in the August conference, we have been talking to each other, trying to reconcile. In the spirit of the Ambazonia Council for Reconciliation and Negotiation, this ACON has been working in the background, trying to make this happen, so that it could even have happened without the public eye. But, hey, the idea of this conference came up and the leaders of nationalist group accepted the idea. And the ACON uh, steering committee said, if it is already happening, why don't we let it happen? Instead of trying to induce it, it's already happening. If you have agreed that you can come together, so let it be. And the, the, the desire was to have a, 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 a meeting off camera where we can agree and even sign memorandum of understanding concerning the eventuality of dialogue and the positions. And then stay quiet. But, but it, it, came, it took the form of a conference. We said, okay, we'll see how to manage this conference to achieve those expectations. So, there is a lot that will go on in the, back, in the, in the backyard before a conflict like this should, will be resolved. And I want to also warn here that why are we scared of going to the table? Our, 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 our problem has been redefined by the international community as a conflict. And when they define it as a conflict, they have decided that there are two sides of in a conflict. In our context, it is La Republic and Ambazonia. It is not La Republic and Federalists. Yes. Federalists are saying they want to remain in La Republic. Unionists or unitarists are saying they want to remain in La Republic. They are not involved in this conflict. 
the conflict is between the restorationists or the pro-independents who are fighting. How many federalists are fighting now? How many federalists are engaged in the fight to restore our independence? Or resisting? How many? No. Conflict is between these two sides. And if by any means we endorse the position of the, the, the table of talking, of negotiation, it will be a resolution of the conflict and it's the two sides that are most relevant on the table. No federalists fighting for federalism. The federalists are telling us not to fight, we, that we can resolve this problem by begging the Lela Republic. So the international community that is calling for dialogue today to resolve the conflict are actually saying Paul Bia should talk to the separatists or restorationists or pro-independence uh, fighters. That, that is the kind of dialogue they are saying should happen without precondition. So why should we be scared of the eventuality of talking? Even with federalists on the table, they will not be relevant because they are not fighting. They have no fighters. Who, who, do, who, who are those fighting on the ground for federalism? Which group? Where? Who are those fighting for federalism? That will be needed on the table to resolve the conflict. But if everybody is coming together as Ambazonia, including whoever, and they, will, they are coming to say dialogue without precondition, who has won? Who has won the argument? People, people... You see, there are many people with loudspeakers, but the problem is they are ignorant. But they are passionate though, and because everyone with a cell phone and an Android phone or whatever is a broadcaster, and sometimes the information that, for example, the interim government is acting upon, you don't have 10% of it. So when you make your analysis, 90% of the chances, especially on, uh, on classified issues, will be wrong. I take this opportunity to say that we should be very careful. We don't labor so much. When it comes to the point of gathering the fruits for our success, we lack the patience and the wisdom to do it. I will never sell out this struggle, not even for the whole world put together. I will not. And so, there's no sellout here. And even if somehow somebody or any nationalist leader nurses that agenda, I want to assure you that if I am still in that coordination, it will fail. That you can take to the bank. But allow us to maneuver this very important moment when the international community is dancing to our tune and you don't want us to change our music, to adjust anything. You don't want us to listen. You, don't, you fear everything. I know once beaten, twice shy. But if we do not die the first time, I think we have become wiser. Fellow Ambazonians, if you are making any plans to attend the All, Ambaz uh, All Southern Cameroon uh, Conference in Washington, I encourage you to do so. We are winning. We are not losing. God bless you.